As a creator, this is very, very frustrating. So YouTube is doing God's work right now by kind of giving us another platform to get monetized, to make money so we can do this as a full-time job or a part-time job. And I'm not just talking about big creators. This is setting the future for people who want to be a content creator. The content creator economy right now is booming. People are getting on there, making tons of money in so many different ways. You know, you got short form videos, you got OnlyFans, you got brand deals. There's just so much revenue running through right now on the internet. It's kind of insane. If you want to start making content, now's the time to do it. Personally, I've always been in this weird, like early stage of short form media. Basically, I made TikToks in 2018, 2019 before it was cool and once the pandemic hit everyone started hopping on and then I kind of fell off of TikTok a little bit I still make TikToks but now that people realize you can make money off TikTok it got more saturated and I couldn't balance both making YouTube videos and short form media I still do both but YouTube is my bread and butter I cannot put this behind me which brings me to YouTube shorts a while ago Instagram made reels to you know compete with TikTok and YouTube did the same with YouTube Shorts. You basically just put down short form videos anywhere from 5 to 60 seconds and it comes up on your phone this way, you know, I always get horizontal, vertical, there we go. And it's been doing really good actually. At first people didn't want to really see short form media on YouTube, but they've been doing a really good job of integrating it slash pushing it. Even if you don't want shorts, you've probably seen a short on your phone. Now I've been vlogging, making long form videos on YouTube since 2019, but in the last year, two years, I've been posting more YouTube shorts. And because of that, my YouTube channel has grown exponentially. I have over 400,000 subscribers on my channel, and I really, really hate those trolls, hate's a strong word, but there's these trolls that are like, oh wow, you have 400,000 subscribers and you only get 20,000. Leave me alone, bro. It's called shorts. Get educated. That's why I'm making this video, to educate all of you guys. Not, not the troll, like, I'm educating my friends and people who respect and support me, but also the trolls who come at me for thinking I bought subscribers or something. Now, this is not me complaining. I'm very, very fortunate that I found success with my long form videos, AK vlogs. I've been able to travel across America, have all these really awesome experiences, do content creation full time because of my vlogs, and I will continue to keep making vlogs. YouTube Shorts, I had even more success. I'm telling you, anywhere from 30,000 views on a short to over a million views on multiple different shorts. And on top of that, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later, I had a YouTube Short hit a hundred million views. Million! And it's still climbing as we speak. Now, I'm not sitting here today just to talk about and summarize what's happening in YouTube, but I kind of enjoyed doing this. What's the next step? Everything sounds bright and dandy, but for me personally, I really hope I don't get screwed over by YouTube. The really cool and scary thing about being a content creator is things change all the time. Algorithms change. Like TikTok, I used to get a lot more views and recently I don't get the same views anymore. Uh, YouTube Shorts, right now it's awesome, but you know, a couple of months ago I was getting a lot more views and now I didn't get views and then I'm getting more views. And then yesterday, Monetization on all YouTube channels just stopped. There was an internal glitch, but it's always kind of like scary and like makes you realize how like little control we have over our jobs as content creators because at the end of the day, you could YouTube can just like stop showing our videos or YouTube can get hacked or YouTube can just shut down. Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. I forgot to charge my camera this morning, so I had to change the angle so it could be charging while I'm talking to you guys. But the point of today's video is this. YouTube Shorts is going to be the first big platform to actually monetize shorts, which means that they will be playing ads after shorts. Some of you at home probably won't like this because you know you don't want to be served ads while watching shorts, but this needs to happen because nothing is free anymore in the world. And as content creators, this will provide a motivation for us to make better content and keep providing things that you guys enjoy at home in your comfy sweaters like I am right now. Once this new update comes out on YouTube, content creators will receive a 45% split of the ad revenue that comes from their video. YouTube gets the rest, which is insane. 
before, like I previously mentioned, we didn't even get that number. It was just random. Just take some money, leave us alone. So I'm really happy to hear that. But that brings me to right now, my one video has over a hundred million views. YouTube, please do not screw me over. I'm gonna keep updating you guys as we get closer to what happens with this video. But this video is averaging anywhere from 500,000 to 2 million views every 48 hours. And as of right now, I'm not making anything from it. I made a video a while ago talking about how much money I've made, and it's been next to nothing. I mean, this has over 130 million views. Like, this is like Mr. Beast status, PewDiePie status, and I'm not comparing myself to them in the slightest. But hey, if I can make a video, how many people actually get a video with 130 million views on it? Probably a low percentile. And if this was happening uh, fast forward six months from now, when the new rules about money have been in place, I wonder if I'd be making more money. I probably would. I mean, it only makes sense logically that I would. And that's why I'm saying don't screw me over because I have a strong feeling the minute that this new feature comes out, which is great, I'm happy for it, I feel like someone's views are gonna start dropping real quick, AKA mine, at least with this particular short. Only time will tell. I also just wanted to humbly brag that I actually hit a video with 130 million. I didn't even realize that it had 130 million views on it until my friend made me check up the stats the other day. I'm like, you know what? I guess I should make a video about this. So that's all. I will be vlogging this week in Disney World and theme parks and all that. Maybe go on a cruise very soon. So stay tuned. This is a little Monday update for all of you. I'm trying to be a little more personal with my videos. So remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive. And YouTube, please don't screw me over. Um, Let's be friends. Either way, I, I love YouTube. Don't get mad at me. I'm really excited about these updates. I think something really cool too is that the new shorts update will allow content creators to get onto the YouTube Partner Program because right now, short creators cannot be entered into the YouTube Partner Program, which is the main way um, I make my money and other content creators make their money through YouTube, which is you know producing ads. So they're kind of decreasing the cost of entry for creators on YouTube, which I love. And I think it's really smart. And I do think YouTube is gonna get a huge like plus of new content creators if this feature is rolled out smoothly and people like me get paid what they're owed. I, I don't, I'm not saying I, 130 million views. That's all I'm gonna say. And you guys, you can see on the screen right now how much I got paid for 130 million views. Not counting the bonus, but I can tell you the bonus was like a thousand to two thousand dollars, not equative to 130 million freaking views. All right, guys, now it is a blessed to be alive, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Peace.